All right, everybody. Let's see. It is time to try to beat this map, which uh, has plagued us for far too long. If you missed the first two parts of the interdimensional puzzle box, uh, leave it linked below. But otherwise, I mean, this could work as a standalone puzzle. So, uh, yeah, we got to figure out how the frick to get up to the Strider. Thank you, Harry, for the raid. Um, welcome, everybody. We'll probably do the vaults a bit later. But for now, we're trying to beat a crazy, crazy puzzle map. Escape map that um, has thrown some things at us that I didn't even know were possible. So uh, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to Captain Sparkles, too. And let's see what we got. Okay, so skill issue button returns the trident. We haven't done anything wrong yet. We have that up there. I do wonder if we're supposed to just build up, maybe, in order to try to be able to reach it. But it's like, it's way the heck up there, dude. It pr can't be it, right? There's no... Okay. I don't actually know. Can I not ju uh, jump on top of a full block? Oh, I can. If we get on the composter... Okay, that wasn't it. If we... Get on the composter. Can we reach it? I think it's purposely engineered one block out of reach. Oh, God. This looks hard. Oh. Oh. I hope this hasn't scaled up in difficulty from what we've already encountered because, boy, oh, boy, am I not ready for it. All right. Anyway, is there... I don't have any other blocks that I can use here. I definitely can't reach the strider in any way with this stuff. I don't know if there's like some, oh right, I forgot. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. You can use the lectern to get up two blocks. So that is actually, that's extra, right? Yeah, that was dumb. We've used that mechanic in the past. So that gives us one more block. Can we do it now? What is it? Wait, oh, hold on. Is that a dripstone? That's a dripstone down there at the end. There's no way. Bro, there's no shot that I can get into a crawl there. Okay, block of iron. So, it's gotta be that that was the intent for me to get up there. Um, oh wait, is there water? Here's the problem with shaders, is like you can't, you just, you just can't tell very well. If there, I don't think there's any water in there. It'd be spilling out, um, however, I can't shoot the, uh, you can actually break dripstone with a trident, but this is a riptide trident, so we can't use it in order to shoot the dripstone and have it come out. So, okay, it's gotta be something with a block of iron. I mean, obviously we can do an iron trap door, but I don't know how we activate the thing. Um, we can do a bucket, but I don't know if there's any water source that we can use anywhere. That just does not look like there's any water down there. Um, holy heck, dude. And I can't place this down, otherwise it's definitely a soft lock. So, oh my god. Also, why is there a skill issue button to return the trident when it's a riptide trident? So I can't even throw it. How how would I lose it? It almost seems like a clue. Because the only way that I could lose the trident is if I just threw it, right? Is it just in case? But there's so many other ways that you could soft lock yourself that it's like, why that one? Why does he give us a break with that? Let me see what I can do. Maybe there's something up here that we can fish out. I'm still going to be too far away, I'm pretty sure, but... There we go. All right, yeah. Oh, there's a, wait, there's a grindstone? What the heck am I supposed to do with a grindstone? Huh? All right, yeah, so that's definitely, like, that is for sure as high up as I can do it. There's no way to get any higher than that. Um, I can hit the button to see what happens? Anything? No, nothing at all. It must just be that if the trident gets like stuck on the other side down there, this will return it to you. 
But why would the trident get stuck? Why would it? Okay, here's another thing, right? Iron bars would get us a zillion blocks. It could also soft lock the heck out of us. But we would get 16 blocks to be able to use here. And um, it would go crazy. I'm honestly, I'm thinking we just, we just do it. Let's just, we'll then have a pressure plate. I hate, I, I hope we don't need to have a trap door because if we do, then I'm just fricked. But I'm pretty sure with iron bars and our other blocks here, we can actually get up there. I don't know what it does for us getting a hold of the shulker. The shulker? It's a strider. I don't know what it does for us, but anyway. So if we do this, then let's just look at all the options here. Let's look at all the options. Iron bars definitely seems like the best bet. Yeah, okay. 16 iron bars. Might have soft locked myself. That would be great fun if we did, but um, you can let me know later if if that happened. Okay, so we're going to do this and this. Yeah, we have string and a candle, which I wonder if... I wonder if we actually do use a candle. This is probably the reason why we're getting up here, is so I can actually throw the trident... That will break the dripstone. I'll be able to get the dripstone. Um, I don't think there's any way to break this, but this is why there's the whole skill issue thing. So, wouldn't chains give more blocks? Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't tell me it was supposed to be chains. Holy frick. There's no way. Okay, so, now what we can do is we can come over here, grab the dripstone for, I don't know, whatever reason we're going to do it. And I'm assuming if the trident does return to us, we'll click that button. Okay. Do this. And then do that. And here goes nothing. Is there a lectern? I'm pretty sure a lectern just dropped down there, I believe. Did it? Oh, convenient extra lectern literally just here to make climbing walls less annoying. And dripstone and classic, classic. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Calling it a skill issue. I bet there's no way for the trident to actually come back to you. I bet, I bet you were doomed from the outset. Um. Okay, so so let's think here. Let's think here. How are we? gonna do is there a way to like do a wall scale with hold on is there a way to do like wall scaling with this i think there is wait no no there isn't because you'd have to like stand on that and then hope that you retrieve this yeah no that's that's not a good way to do it i think we just do we just do what we can in order to get up and then, I think we just do what we can in order to get up. I don't know what I don't know how we move the Strider once we're on the Strider because we don't have any ability to make a warp fungus on a stick. But uh, maybe as soon as we get up there, the Strider will grow some AI, and there will be a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. I all right, and here, and then. We just use the just use the bars for the rest of it. I feel like I'm soft locking myself so badly, but like we definitely have enough bars to be able to do this. Watch me miss the parkour. It's gonna be really, really Oh, I've soft locked myself. Let's go, baby. Let's go, dude. <sighs> we, we, we we we'll try. We'll try. I'm just you know what? No 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 no. Maybe we've figured out an alternative way to to beat the game. All right? That's what I'm counting on here, is we have just done something so epic that not even the map creator had any idea that it was a viable strategy. All right? 
No, you just, you just watch how freaking bad this is actually going to be. I should, I should have gone across the wall. I feel like before, yeah, no, wait, this is, that was dumb. That was a dumb way to do it because now there's like actually no way for me. Well, no, what I can do is I can do this and then I can get back up. <laughs> that was really, is a stupid way to do it, but uh, here we are. So anyway, yeah, that, and then, can I actually, I probably cannot do that without uh, taking this off, yes. Then we can go there, and then uh, we can get this, please do not go all the way to the bottom. If I do this, you'll give me a standing ovation. Bro, this is parkour. This is park frick. Damn it. I don't know why I did it this way, this is kind of silly. Uh, but we can, we can make it happen. Um, no, I, I know this was a dumb place to initiate the whole thing. It, it was, but, uh, I've placed the iron bars down now, which means I'm stuck. Unless I call Lauren, I'm stuck. So, uh. Damn it! Uh, all I w my whole goal here, though, I just wanted to give myself a parkour challenge. All right, you know we haven't done a, a dedicated parkour map in a little while, and um, I was just feeling like a little bit of a parkour drought was happening, and um, yeah, Kara, you can't get on Vault Hunters. You probably have to update or something like that. Ugh. Oh my god, this can't be! You did update? Well, I, I don't know how to... I don't know how to fix it. Um... It says can't connect to server? So, here's the thing. Have you been on Vault Hunters since they updated the IP? Because that would do it. Okay. God dang it. Guys, can I call Lauren? Can I get your permission to call Lauren and make this all better? Because this is terrible. The people have spoken and they want me to keep trying, and that's just really bad. Okay, this is this is some kind of like final jump for MCC parkour warrior vibes going on with what I've just done to myself. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, he's done it. He's insane! All right. All right. I have to, like, really make sure to not do exactly what I just did. Um, I was really worried about overshooting the thing, and, um... That's... It's good. It's a, it's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna go, uh, sob in a corner. And... And be back... Soon. Oh, come on! Frickety, frickety, frick. Frickety, frick. Oh, are you kidding me? That should have been... <sighs> Gonna freaking... <gasps> Got it! Okay. Here's the deal. We just... We just... Don't... I don't know why I didn't just, like, a disabled hoggle sprint. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? They won't let me talk to Lauren. And 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 it's just there we go. I'm getting the hang of it at least. Watch me now fail these jumps like an absolute buffoon. I've done it. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Here goes nothing. Okay. Somehow these are the hardest jumps. Forget about four blockers. These are the hardest jumps known to man. 
Don't worry, guys. I've got this. I've got this. I've actually got this. What the frick? Can I? Wait. What the? What the? <laughs> what in the world is this? Uh. Huh. Okay. This is... I think a problem? I think this is a problem. Yeah. This is definitely a problem, guys. And I know... I know where I went wrong. I know where I went wrong. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but it does mean I need to just give myself back the iron block. And... But the other thing, then, is like... Even if I get up there, okay, so I need a minecart, right? And then I need, wait, but I need a minecart, and then do I need a rail? Because I can't just place the minecart down. I need I need to be able to put it on something. So the question is, how the frick do I even get a rail to be able to place the thing on? Right? That's what I want to know. Well, in the meantime... Time to call Lord. So, 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 these are currently illegal items, right? Illegal items, can't touch them because I need to have gotten up there and unenchanted. Well, would you just freak me up? There's something up there, isn't there? Um, heck. Okay. Well, what am... Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That, yeah, gamers never look up. They really don't. So, candle, right? I could do a candle. Probably not the worst idea in the world, right? Give me, give me a little bit. Give me a little bit of height. You can't do... You can't do a candle unless it's on a block, though. Which then begs the question, how do we actually utilize the candle... Because, how do we utilize the candle to get higher than before? Um, holy heck. I mean, if I do the, if I do the candle first, that doesn't get me anywhere. Like, this does not let me get up an extra block. I need to be able to use the candle in a place where it's going to get me an extra block higher. Unless, wait a minute, is it that I do this, that, and then, right, because you can do candle parkour, so I just do it that way. Does that let me get on it? It doesn't let me get on it. So how, again, do I use this to my advantage? Frick, the lecterns are merging with each other. Um... Oh, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Is it a, is it like a situation where I can do that, right? Get on the candle, break, that's not it. But it must be a thing where I can like retrieve the block, right? While on the candle, right? Again, I can only use one lectern at a time here, but now I'm here, which then gets me that does, okay, that does work. In fact, I could do literally any block there that I wanted to. Um, okay. But do I have to re... Do I have to retrieve the candle? Let's see where we end up with this. I think I'm still going to be one block, one block short. I'm one block short. What is up there? What is that? What is it? Dang it. Um, so it's got to be like a particular order of things here. Actually gets us up. But what it, the only, only way to do that, the only way to do that is if we are able to retrieve the candle, right? That's the only way to do it, I, th I think. Um, if I did this. Right. If 
I did that, like, what can I do? Is it, is it that I do like this, put that there, and then, I don't think I can retrieve, if I could retrieve the lectern from here, like, that would be huge. I think it's too high. I don't think you can actually retrieve it like that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Here's what we do. I'm going to put this and this right here. That takes it away from us. So we don't constantly have the lecterns like merging with each other. So I'm thinking that, yeah, you know what? You know what? If we do this, right? If we do this, we'll still have enough. We still have enough to be able to do rail and um, minecart track. If if we have to get minecart track, it's got to be. It's got to be that the wood is in that furnace up there for us to be able to make the rail. It's got to be. So, with the chain, we're good, right? So, let's redo that again. So, it's going to be... That there, boom, there we go. And uh, then we can go there, pick up the thing, you idiots. So I think we just, yeah, we're basically just doing the same thing, uh, but we'll have one extra block of height, which is exactly what we needed. Holy frick, can you please retrieve? Oh my God, can you, <sighs> can you please, thank you. Okay, there we go. And we'll have that. And then I'll do the chain on top vertically. Hopefully this won't mess me up. If I need to do it again, it's going to be in the way. But chain. And composter. Okay. So now we've made it. So uh, I am now <laughs> uh, disenchanting the trident for the second time. But, okay, so now we have this furnace or dispenser or something up there. Um, okay, so this means, I, I'm pretty sure the way that this would have to be done is we'd have to do it a second time. So now we can retrieve the lectern again and the dripstone for some reason. And now we have to get up there with, like, extra blocks. Huh. Yeah, so somehow I've gotta I've gotta get up there with extra blocks. How is he gonna do that? That's the real question. Um So Um Do that and then we can do This, I guess. Get on there. All I'm gonna have is like the extra freaking lectern, though. Is that really gonna get me close enough? <gasps> um, I'm not there. I'm not there. So that's. Not it. I mean, do I, do I... Can I... Can I place the dripstone? I guess, actually, you know what? Can I place the dripstone anywhere? Can I put it on there? No. Uh, make another chain? Can I do that? Or is it gonna mess me up? Hmm. If I made another chain... Let me see, let me see. If I put the uh, dripstone on the crafting table is not going to do anything because the, the chain is in a fixed location. So that doesn't help us at all, unfortunately. Maybe I put the chain in a bad spot. All right. <sighs> Being told chain is a soft block, so uh, we're just going to give ourselves the bar back. Okay, so we're back to um, block of iron, candle, crafting table, composter, lectern, and... Um, that's it. Hopefully the Riptide doesn't matter, but so yet again, I have to figure out how to get up here for the first time to be able to disenchant the Trident. 
How the frick do I get up here without placing the iron, crafting something out of the iron? So basically, the iron is just gone, right? We can't do anything with that. This apparently is something that we could do prior to even retrieving the iron block from here, right? This has to have been something that you could have done at the very, very beginning prior to getting the iron. Live room outside. How the frick? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, what, dude? We have a... I, I actually, like, had the starting steps correct. Like, we need to put the candle down here, right? That's good. We're solid there. And we had the, uh... And then, and then, you know, we, we had the lectern. And we... Frick, I need to get on top of there one sec. That was, that was silly. Um... Wait, was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we do that. Okay, we have to retrieve the lectern. Frick. I hate you for this. Um, please give. Thank you. And now... Didn't know you could do this. It's like a, it's like a slime damage jump, except without the slime. It's a classic 20 FPS. Um, like... Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I, 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 I think I did it the wrong way, though, because it was supposed to be... He needed to... Hold on, I gotta refresh my memory. You know what? No. No. On second thought... I don't know why I'm... There's there's no need. There is no need. He, oh, he made this more difficult for himself than he needed to be, and in the process of making this more difficult for himself than he needed to be, he confused the chat. But in reality... The whole idea of this crazy 20 FPS jump that he does in the video in order to do a slime damage jump, it only he only does it to be able to retrieve the crafting table. I already have the crafting table because he didn't put the lectern here first and then replace it, right? So he did something... Uh, he actually made it more difficult for himself. However, what I didn't think to do is that. Which is very stupid. Why didn't I, why didn't I, mm, it's very stupid of me to do. And then even, that's the thing, is like you can keep going. You can keep going with that, can't you? And it's in fact, even easier, well, the question is, do I do it this way with the composter? I think it's possible to do, you just have to get very lucky. Um, I haven't continued watching the walkthrough. I wanted to watch as little as possible. I feel like the odds of my actually recollecting this are non-existent. Yeah, I didn't think so. But, okay, from there, though, we can do this again. I mean, alternatively, like, I can simply... Oh, to be fair, right? I can just do that. Okay, no, I'm up, right? I'm up. We're fine. I was overthinking it because I was thinking we have to get up there. But remember, this is the first time, once again. So we've disenchanted the trident. And now, now we're able to throw the trident, and it basically, like, now it gives us access to the point of dripstone and the lectern. So now we have two. And so I think, honestly, yeah, why did he do the, why did he do the crazy 20 FPS jump when he could have just done it this way? I came up with a more efficient solution on this one. I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit for that, at least. Okay, so then we... Probably need to do that again. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. Easy peasy. Do this. But then the question is... So we can get up to the... We can get up to the top. Like, you could do the recurring thing in order to be able to get up with more blocks. But now I only have this one. So... How do I utilize the dripstone in order to do this? Hold on. If I do that and that and then... Oh, no. I don't need to... Wait. So I can retrieve this with the trident, right? Yeah. So but I can't put the dripstone on there. So I'm like, how do I... How do I do this 
in order to be able to get... Is it that I just go on top of the dripstone and then it gives me, like, one extra block higher? Maybe like this. Then we go there. And then... It doesn't let me get out. Damn it. It doesn't let me get here, though. So I don't know how the dripstone helps me out if I can't place it at a higher level than I otherwise could have. I think there there has to be another way to get up here. It's probably just another annoying, like, trial and error once again that allows you to get up. How would I do that? Like, what else could I take with me, though? Okay, what if actually we start at the very bottom, okay? And we... Because the candle's not full block, I'm very curious. If we do this, and we get the candle in there, and then I were to put the dripstone there, can I go... Dripstone on... No, wait, no, that's absolutely not gonna work. There's no shot. Um, so how would that help me at all? Okay, if I, let's say I use both the dripstone, we get to the candle, we do this, we do crafting table, we retrieve. This is going to take several tries. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to keep overshooting the candle when I try to jump onto it. Okay, so we go here. And then just got to keep trying. God dang it. Please. Ugh. Come on. <sighs> How did we get this twice, like, super easily? Thank you. Okay. So, now we'll have that. Actually, does that even help? It does help us because we can potentially retrieve the composter. Uh, I swear to God, if you fall all the way down to the bottom, I am going to be very upset. Uh, please. Okay, well, at least that came pretty quick. We should have to get lucky. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, that's so big for us. All right. I think... I think with this, we have the height. I'm pretty sure. To start further up and then back it off. God dang it. God dang it. Please. Frick. We know it's we know it can be done. I'm just not I'm not centered in the block. We've done it so many times and now you wanna now you wanna fail me. There we go. <gasps> there it is. There it is. That's all the iron and it's the stick, and we make the minecart track and we make the minecart. Or the rail in the minecart. Okay. I don't even... I might have just done this. Well, we know that we did the um, way to get on the, the candle and lectern. We did that our own way. I don't know if we did that next part our own way as well. But, in any case... Okay, so the question is... If we... If we make these... Minecart and rail... Can I use it? in order to um, more effectively, like, j jump and skip, basically, from here to here to here. Keep in mind, we would normally, we'd still have the saddle on us, but it's fine. We would get up there, we'd have the saddle, we'd place it on the strider, and then, um... all right, so, here's a thought. Here's a thought. We just use all of our blocks, basically, in order to get up. I don't know if we still need the crafting table or anything like that, but we'll see. We'll just kind of alternate side to side you go here we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes so now we can go i mean god do we do the same thing in the interest of like preserving also i don't why am i doing it on this side i should do it on the other side so that we don't just head hit into there i have so much more real estate that i can play with 
I'm being dumb by not using it. So if I do this... Ah, there we go. Nice, nice. Okay. Big old block conservation right there. Okay, I don't have a double high block now. Unless I use the composter in order to try to retrieve it. But if this thing goes down, I'm not having a good... No, actually, it's not worth because the composter lets us go up two. And by using the composter here, I'm wasting the potential of the composter. So, I think it's probably... Yeah, no, it's probably this. It is probably just this all the way. God dang it. There we go. Let's go. Oh, hold on a minute, though. I would be able to... I would be able to retain the composter if I was closer. Poop. Oh, that's poo, dude. Can I do... <laughs> oh, no, there's no way. There's no way. Um, shoot. I could alternatively, like, place a rail down there, but I'm just one. I guess I don't actually... You know what? Maybe I just do the rail, the rail strat and do it that way. And then I get to keep the composter anyway. Yeah, 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 no, that's the way. Surely we don't need all, all 16, right? Surely we don't. Okay, if this thing drops down, it's gonna be pain. So, do we use the composter to get one up here? I just don't know if I need to... Am I going to be close enough to be able to do it? I think I will be. Yeah, there we go. Um, ah, oh shoot, I could probably have... Hold on. I could probably keep the composter, though. I can probably keep the composter... I don't know if I need it, but I could... I don't know if I can... Mm, I don't know if I can make that jump. Okay. Now. Now. Oh, boy. Come on. Cool! We get this. Boom. Boom. And we win. Okay. Oh, that was it! Oh. Bro. I thought for sure we were going to have to, like, get back over there or get somewhere. I thought we were going to have to cross this gap. Just barriers all the way across. Oh, let's go, dude. Hold on. But wait. There's more. Yo, now this is, this is the real victory right here. This is the real victory. I got on top of the little extra slot right here. Whew. Oh, my God. All right. Truth be told, the fact that we, we didn't actually have to use his crazy FPS glitch in this section. This section was actually doable. It was just, you had to know what it was you were supposed to craft. So, anyway, um, that was a crazy, psychotic map. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to uh, the channel to stay tuned for more if you missed the first two parts. Again, all the puzzles sort of stand on their own. So... You know, you can give them a try. And, um, yeah, let's go play some uh, Minecraft survival, I suppose, right? All right. <laughs> it's time to start our survival Let's Play. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode, and <laughs> I'll see you later.